Hey guys, welcome back. I'm talking about the second day of deals over at Walgreens this week. I'm also gonna be talking about deals you can do for the remainder of the week, um, as well as answering the most popular questions I've been getting. I've gotten tons and tons of questions. So I wanna take just a little bit of time to answer what I learned from doing Walgreens deals yesterday that we can apply to the rest of this week. So if you're brand new, Walgreens is having crazy awesome deals this week, a different deal each day, as well as deals that are running the full week. So the 25% cash back um, in Walgreens cash is all week, and that is stacking with all the other offers. So today's deal, today is Monday, is spend 20 on groceries, get $10 back in Walgreens cash. But that also means we'll get 25% back in Walgreens cash, those stack together. Yesterday, the 30% off and the 25% off stacked together, giving us tons of Walgreens cash back. Now, yesterday we could do the deal multiple times. Today, the spend 20, get $10 in Walgreens cash for groceries, you can only do once. How do I know this? Because I spent $20 twice and I only got it back once. So sometimes with y'all's questions, your guess is as good as mine. I just use myself as a guinea pig. I go try it out to get my answer. So the answer is you can only use today's booster one time, which makes sense. It's what I thought, but I wanted to try it out. Now applying that to the rest of the week though, Tuesday is spend 35 in the app, get $15 in Walgreens cash. My guess is that one's also gonna be one time use. Thursday, spend tw uh, 45, get 20. Again, my guess is one time use. Friday, spend 10, get 10 on a pickup order, one time use. Now, that is just my best educated guess. The only way we know is to try it. The offer on Wednesday, is 25% off a $20 order or 30% off a $60 order. My guess is we could probably do that one multiple times, but that's just a guess. Now, another very popular question I got yesterday, can I use Walgreens cash to pay and still get that 25% back? You're only gonna get the 25% back on the amount you're paying out of pocket. So if you have a $20 order, you use $20 in Walgreens cash, you're gonna get $0 back for that 25% back. If you have $20, you use $10 in Walgreens cash, you're only gonna get 25% uh, on the $10 you paid out of pocket. So I haven't been using Walgreens cash because I want that full 25% back. Now on the deal today, spend 20, get $10 in Walgreens cash for groceries. You can't use Walgreens cash to pay for that unless your total is well above 20. Okay, so just for fun, so you understand, I have to spend 20 to get 10. If I spend 25, I could use $5 in Walgreens cash. I've spent the 20, I'll get the $10 in Walgreens cash back. Okay, but I'm only gonna earn the 25% back on the amount I paid out of pocket. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I'm trying to think of the other popular questions. Can you use manufacturer register rewards? Absolutely, you can use those. I uh, think that might have been it. The only question I had that I don't know the answer to is, let's say today's deal is the grocery deal. Spend 20, get 10. If I place the order today, but I don't pick it up until tomorrow, will I still get that $10? My guess is no. Like I think you're gonna have to pick it up on the day the deal is valid, or it's gonna kick into the next day's deal. So just to be safe, if you wanna do the deal for that day, place the order and pick it up that day if you're doing curbside. Okay, I placed my grocery order as curbside, picked it up, got the $10 in Walgreens cash, plus the 25% cash back. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did. I'm gonna show you all the other best grocery deals that I found that are going on. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about some deals you can do the rest of the week. So, what I picked up, the nice uh, trail mix is $1.78, which is just a good sale price. The Cheez-Its, these are buy one, get one free. In uh, online, if you're doing curbside, they are $1.99. So when you uh, do the buy one, get one free sale, that makes them just 99 cents a box, which is a great deal. Now, that is the same for 
the Club Crackers. Buy two at $2.99 is their online price, minus the buy one, get one free sale. Those are gonna be $1.50 each. The Pringles are buy one, get one free at $3.49, making them $1.74 each. Now remember, you're gonna get the 25% cash back as well, as long as you're not using Walgreens cash to pay. So these prices will drop down a little bit. Now the Bagel Bites deal is still good. They are two for $5, but there's a dollar back on each of them on Ibotta. So you'll get $2 back on Ibotta, making it $3 for both boxes of Bagel Bites or $1.50 each. Now, another thing I picked up were the sodas. There's a number of different soda deals. I did the um, only soda that I will drink, which is ginger ale. They are three for $13.99. The Mott's apple juice was two for $6. Lay's potato chips, two for $6. Pistachios, if you're into that, they are $6.99. There is a $1 digital coupon. The nice peanuts are two for five. Lunchables, two for six. The Oscar Mayer hot dogs were buy one, get one free again. So those were the uh, best grocery deals that I found. I also picked up some K-Cups. Not the best deal ever, but it's how I wanted to use my uh, spin booster. So these were at $6.99. Now the reason I wanna say it's not the best deal, but it's how I wanna use it. So if we're doing spend 20, get 10, that means it's already a 50% discount, right? And then we're getting an additional 25% back. So don't worry about what's the cheapest product necessarily, but what do you use? Like what does your family need? Are you out of something that you can get a deal on at Walgreens this week to prevent you having to buy it at the grocery store? It's likely going to be cheaper at Walgreens with that spend 20 get 10 and the 25% cash back. So don't worry about if you're buying the right things. Buy what you need. All right so this is what I put together. I picked up the um, Canada Dry, the Trail Mix, the coffee, the Cheez-Its, and then the seventh generation that I'm gonna tell you about here in a minute. Okay, that's everything that I bought together. The total was $26.74. So like I said, I only have to spend 20 to get the $10 in um, Walgreens cash back. So I could have used a little bit of Walgreens cash, but then I wouldn't be getting as much back with that 25%. So I paid it all out of pocket, $26.74. I got back $10 for spending 20. I got back $6.68 for the 25% back. And then I got $1.50 back on Fetch for the seventh generation, making my total for everything you see here $8.56. So clearly some great deals that you can do for groceries this week um, with that booster. That's valid today, Monday only. The seventh generation, this one is $2.99. There is a code you can use if you're doing this as a curbside order. Seventh gen, it's gonna take a dollar off. It's only gonna work on one product. Then getting a dollar fifty back on fetch, plus at 25% back, it's gonna give you 49 cents back, making this free. Now, there was another question that popped up that I wanted to answer because it was a popular one, and shoot, now I lost it. It'll come back to me. Um, let me tell you a few more deals because tomorrow, Tuesday, is spend 15 or spend 35, get $15 in Walgreens cash. Use my video from Sunday to give you some ideas and then use my video from today to give you additional ideas. The If you don't want the soap, you could do the same deal with the seventh generation wipes. They're $3.49. Seventh gen would take a dollar off, get back a dollar fifty on fetch rewards. 25% uh, cash back, that would make your cost 37 cents for that um, thing of wipes. The Burt's Bees toothpaste is $3.49 each by two of them. There is a $5 digital coupon, so you'll pay, um, I'm sorry, and then you're gonna get a $1.74 back from that 25% back, making your total just 24 cents. So that brings up two things. Is that 25% cash back before or after coupons? The 25% cash back from what I was able to figure out is calculating my total before manufacturer coupons come off. So hello, awesome deal. The second question, and this is the one that came to me and then I lost it. The coupon for today, the spend 20, get 10, Yesterday, 
it wasn't valid. Sunday, it was not valid. It was only valid on Monday, but it said it expires today, yesterday. That showed for me as well, and I know that's confusing and frustrating. All I can tell you is don't worry about it because it still works beautifully today, just like the 30% cash back worked beautif beautifully for me yesterday, even though on Saturday it said it expired. So it's Walgreens. Things are gonna be messy. We know that. Walgreens is very imperfect. Um, so don't worry about the expiration that you're seeing on those. The last big question that I got was, um, hey, I don't have something to clip for Wednesday or Friday. Neither do I. I don't have anything to clip for Wednesday or Friday. My guess is it's just gonna work or come Wednesday or come Friday, we'll see something to clip. My guess is we don't have to clip anything. It's just gonna work, but we have to wait and see. Okay, few more deals to tell you about. I actually did this one on Sunday. The um, user and face product is $10.99. There is a $4 digital. So you would pay $6.99, get back $2.74 for the 25% cash back, and then $2 on Ibotta, dropping your final cost down to just $2.25. The last one I wanna tell you about is on the Procter & Gamble, the laundry products. So the Tide Bounce, Downy, and Tide Pods are $5.49 each. You want to buy four of them to get your total to $21.96. Check your digital coupons. I believe I had four different $1 digital coupons that takes my total to $17.96. You would get 25% cash back, which is $5.49, and a $5 register reward for spending $20, making your final cost $7.47 or just $1.86 each. So hopefully that gave you some ideas for the remainder of the week. If you have additional questions, drop them down below. Last thing I wanna mention, about 800 people asked me where the Listerine rebate link was, and I responded to everyone, it's pinned in the comments. If you don't know what that means, go to the comment section of the video. A pinned comment is gonna show up as the very first comment. That's where I include links to things that I talk about in the video. I try to make it as easy as possible, but that's where you will see that link. Uh, I also mentioned AARP because I joined as a member. It's super inexpensive to join. I think it's 100% worth it because I get additional Walgreens cash back with my AARP. So I will link that down in the pinned comments for you if you wanna check it out. You can join, you get tons of benefits, but one of my favorites is the extra Walgreens cash back. All right, hope you guys have a great week. Thanks.